Today topic is difference between constant volume batch reactor and variable volume batch reactor. Now, first let's see what is mean by constant volume batch reactor. The constant volume batch reactor means that the volume of the reaction system will be constant. It is not related to the volume of the reactor. As the volume of the reaction system is constant, hence it is also called a constant volume reaction system. As we know, density is equal to mass divided by volume. As it is a constant volume batch reactor, the volume will be constant as the reaction proceeds. Now, for the given reaction system, as per the law of conservation of mass, its mass always remains constant. So, mass and volume both are constant. So that density also becomes constant as the reaction proceeds. Hence, this system also called as constant density system. Now, examples are all liquid phase reaction systems are constant volume system, as there is no change in density during the reaction. Next example is a gas phase reaction in which number of moles of product equal to that of the reactant consumed. Now, consider gas phase reaction. CO plus H2O, which gives CO2 plus H2. We can see that, in this reaction, two moles of products are formed from two moles of reactants. Hence, the number of moles of product are equal to the number of moles of reactant at a given temperature and pressure. Hence, the volume of the reaction mixture will not change. Hence, it is a constant volume system. Now, let's see. Variable volume batch reactor. In variable volume batch reactor, the volume of the reaction system changes as the reaction proceeds. Hence, it is called variable volume batch reactor. Now, as the reaction proceeds, the volume of the reaction system changes. Due to this, density will also change as the reaction proceeds. Hence, this system also called a variable density batch reactor. Now, in this system, as the reaction proceeds, the number of moles changes. In such a case, pressure should be held constant. Hence, this system also called a constant pressure system. Now example is a gas phase reaction with changing number of moles. Now, consider decomposition reaction at constant pressure. N2O gives N2 plus half O2. In this reaction, we can see 1 mole of N2O gives 1.5 moles of products at constant pressure and temperature. So that we can see the number of moles is changing. Due to this, volume will increase. Hence, this is an example of a variable volume system. Now let's see. Rate of reaction of any component for constant volume batch reactor. So from the definition of rate of reaction, the rate of reaction of any component, I, can be written as Ri is equal to 1 divided by V into Dni by dt. So, for constant volume batch reactor system, volume V is equal to constant. As V is constant, so we can write 1 divided by V inside of a derivative term. Hence, equation becomes Ri is equal to d dt of Ni divided by V. Now, as we know, Ci, that is, the concentration of component I, is equal to Ni divided by V. Hence, we can write Ci in place of Ni divided by V. Hence, we get equation Ri is equal to dCi by dt. So, this is rate equation any component I for constant volume batch reactor. Now, let's see. Rate of reaction of any component for variable volume batch reactor. So, from the definition of rate of reaction, 
the rate of reaction of any component i can be written as ri is equal to 1 divided by v into dni by dt so for variable volume batch reactor system volume v is not equal to constant and we know that ni is equal to ci into v now let's put this value in rate of reaction equation so we get ri is equal to 1 divided by v into ddt of ci into v now let's apply the product rule of derivatives so we get ri is equal to 1 divided by v into in the bracket v into dci by dt plus ci into dv by dt now let's multiply by 1 divided by v to the bracket so we get ri is equal to dci by dt plus ci divided by v into dv by dt hence this equation is of rate of reaction of any component i for variable volume batch reactor now let's recall all these points of constant volume batch reactor and variable volume batch reactor the first point is in a constant volume batch reactor as the reaction proceeds the volume of the reaction system is constant in a variable volume batch reactor as the reaction proceeds the volume of the reaction system changes next point is constant volume batch reactor is also called as the constant volume reaction system and variable volume batch reactor is also called as the variable volume reaction system now next point is constant volume batch reactor is also called as the constant density system and variable volume batch reactor is also called as the constant pressure system examples of constant volume batch reactor all liquid phase reaction and a gas phase reaction in which the number of moles of product equal to that of reactant consumed and an example of a variable volume batch reactor is a gas phase reaction with changing number of moles and the last point is the rate of reaction of any component i for constant volume batch reactor is ri is equal to dci by dt and the rate of reaction of any component i for variable volume batch reactor is ri is equal to dci by dt plus ci divided by v into dv by dt so that's all about difference between constant volume batch reactor and variable volume batch reactor if you like my video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel